Welcome everybody to the zoning board meeting of September 9th, 2020. I'd ask you to stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Uh, the first on the agenda is to approve the minutes from August 12th. I don't know if as the board had time to go through them. I have. Yes. Yes. Yes, I anybody, have. Anybody have a correction or anything? I do not. No, I, have, oh. I do not. I don't okay. either. Okay, I'll take a motion to approve. I'll make a motion. This is Marco. Second. Right. Who, who seconded it? Ed? Ed seconded. I'll second it. Okay, sure. Thanks, Ed. You're All welcome. in favor? Aye. 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 Four out. Thank you. All right. The first order of business tonight is uh, open a public hearing for Mr. Calibro. Um, before I go any further, I got a return receipt letter for from him. So I'm definitely within 250 feet. So if anybody would like me to recuse myself, I have no problem, the attorney or Mr. Calibro, I have no problem with doing that, but I wanted to put that out front for everybody. For the record, uh, not necessary. What is that? I think this game and I are too close. Who said that? One, two, three, six, six, six. Okay. Uh, sorry. Can you get a Who said for the record? I know it's Brian Calibro from 26 Savage Avenue. I'm going to set mine off. All right, did everybody hear what I said for the record? Uh, I'll recuse myself. Does anybody have a problem with that? Uh, no, no, I don't have a no, problem. No problem. I don't have a problem. No problem. Marco? No problem. No, I'm here. And how about so, uh, wait. Mr. Calibro's attorney? Mr. I'm Garcia? Right here and no, not necessary. I th thank you for the, for the offer, but not necessary. Okay, thank you very much. So you and, can stay uh, there. Then I can stay and I will proceed with uh, okay. catalog number one, uh, number one dash 20 BZ. It's a public hearing for an interpretation of the zoning law or zoning map or property at 225 Travis Avenue. Um, that, that's 226. 226. Darn yeah. if you're not right, 226, sorry. I cleaned these glasses before I started. <laughs> All right, so um, I want you to know that we we set, we set a public hearing for tonight. Obviously, uh, Mr. Mr. Calibro gave me the uh, return receipt uh, letters, and he sent out thirty three, and he got twenty one back signed. So, thirty three, twenty one. Yeah. Any non deliverable. I didn't see anything that said non-deliverable. Okay, no. Okay, great. Okay. okay. I'll touch base with you, Rosemary, and, and get them to you, okay? Okay. Okay, right. so I, I think uh, we just had a site inspection. Motion. 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 I'll make the motion to open the public hearing. I second it, Mary Function. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Rosemary. All right, wait a second. I have to tell this person. Bobby, I can talk to you now. I'm conducting I'm on a meeting. All right, bye.
Okay. Um, we just made a site inspection over there at 615. All four of the board members were there, as was the owner and his attorney. And he gave us some descriptive uh, layout of what he wants to do and uh, a rendering drawing to see what it would look like in the future if the variance or the interpretation is granted. So I, I'm just going to start first and then I can go around the room with you guys. I, um, I think it looks great where it is, but I'm adhering to the code book. And what I would like to do is have a meeting with the village board so they can tell me that they have no problem if I go ahead and ask for somebody to grant a variance. That's what I personally would like to do. But Mary, I'll give you a shot. Um, well, I also am okay with it as it stands, but if you wanna to go to the board with it, I'm okay with that as well. Marco. This is Mark. Yeah, um, after reviewing the property and seeing how the road is laid out and right away, and what have you, I, I think it behooves us to go to the board and get their approvals to go forward with this project or at least get their opinion as to what they believe we can or cannot do. Ed? Okay, I, uh, uh, I've i also looked at this. Uh, we spent some time. Uh, I, I don't have a problem with going to the board and asking what their views are. I don't know that they will respond but we'll we cannot uh, there's never hurts to ask i got you so i'm for it okay thank you the reason why i asked this is because i don't have a problem with this project it looks like it'll fit right in the neighborhood but you know they're asking, basically asking us to break the law and i i feel a little squirmish about that being the chairman of the zoning board so I would like to have a meeting with them, explain to them my, my position. And if they say, uh, okay, let, let's ride. And I have no problem with that. And I did talk to. I'm sorry, Guy. I apologize. Continue. I'll finish. Finish your thought. Hello. Hello. I did talk to Mr. Garcia at the site about oh. this. All right. Wait a minute. Uh, Gary, wait. Someone has Rose, a question. Someone has a question. Oh, no, wait, Rose, 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 Rose Murray. Rose Murray. Yeah. Uh, questions will be brought up after the applicant has the opportunity to respond to anything they want to respond to after the board and the applicant finish their discussion. Okay. Then we can open up for public discussion. So you can have the person on hold okay. or they can wait until they're ready. Uh, after uh, the applicant talks, uh, and his attorney, then you can speak, unless you have just a quick question. Uh, 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 Rosemary, we'll put you on mute so you can have that discussion so they can board and the applicant can just keep on discussing the application, okay? Go ahead, Chairman. Okay, the only problem with her on mute, she's not gonna be able to get the minutes down unless you're taping the minutes and she can uh, get them off of you. The whole meeting's being taped, and I'm going to send her the copy of the video after we're done. Okay. Okay. Um, as I started to say, I talked to Mr. Garcia at the site inspection, and I let him know my feeling on this from the get-go. So I'm sure they're not surprised that I'm asking to do this. But, you know, I, I like I said, I, I have no problem with the, with the project, but I just want everybody to realize, you know, the code doesn't say you can do this. So... I, I would like to get their interpretation of what they think, too. So, other than that, I have nothing else. And I think that's fine. If I may, I mean, I'm Mr. Calabro's. I mean, after speaking with Gary, I, I certainly understand. And again, yes, while the code does have uh, set forth certain parameters that are required, given, given the circumstances that the Calabro House shows, as, as we've seen at, at, at 220, 226. Uh, Travis, that um, you know, the, the room is there. I, I think that the zone, uh, the the um, um, the code contemplates or should contemplate, uh, given that the space is there, the, the the space requirement is there, that the, the interpretation is appropriate, is adequate, and uh, you know th there is no adverse effect to the, to the community and to the neighborhood for that matter. So, 
Uh, but if Gary, if you're comfortable going to the, if that's what you want to do, then fine. We'll, we're, we're more than happy to go along with the board, and uh, you know we can we can speak with the uh, with, with the with the remaining board members as well, and and, and speak to them as well. And you know we, we, if if they're interested in hearing from us. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Not a problem. Any of the board board members have anything else? No. Nothing at this time. No. Okay. Are we going to let Rosemary in now? <laughs> I've been talking. <laughs> um, what, what would be the variance for the interpretation or can the board it's act an on the interpretation? I'm sorry, Rosemary, is that a question from a resident? We need to name no. an address or is that what your, your question is? That's my question. Okay. Looking at Stephanie's uh, uh, memo, I just want the, uh, did everyone look at the memo from yes. Stephanie? Yes. I did, yep. Okay. And you're acting in accordance with her memo? Basically, we're going to go to the village board and try to have a joint meeting with them so we can ask them uh, some questions. I don't know how that would work because that's beyond to the public, but that that's basically it. We're just going to hold it over for one month. We'll keep the public hearing open and we can, you know, anybody can make comment next month too. And then we'll, uh, from there, we'll close the meeting and take a vote. Okay. Is there anybody on the phone that has a question? Rosemary? Well, David Gomes, but uh, he hung up. <laughs> did, he, did, he ask, did he ask you the question that you can repeat? No, he didn't. Uh, he hung up before. I, I guess, I don't know if I can call him back. Do you... Do you uh, does anybody know Mr. Gomes? No. I don't know him either. No. Because I would say I'd reach, reach out to him and see what his comment is. But. Well, he called twice. Um, Do you have his number so you can try calling him back? No, I don't. Okay. Well, we're, we're live right now, so if he wants to call back or anyone wants to call, they can call now. He lives on 233 Travis Avenue. Yes, I, I believe that Mr. Gomes is the resident uh, county corner across the street from Mr. Calabro. He's That's not going to ask. He's not going to He's not going to ask. He just has one watch. Okay. My understanding from Mr. Calabro is that he just got a text from Mr. Gomes that he, he did not, doesn't have a question per se, but he was trying to watch. So I think that there may have been some misunderstanding there. Okay, thank you for the, thank you for that clarification. Oh wait, maybe they're calling now. Oh, phone call phone call coming yeah. in. Calling now. Hello, Mr. Gomes. To to the village board. Okay, hold on. Why do they have to go back to the village board? That's Mr. Gomes's question. Because if we go and face what it is right now, we probably have to reject this application. So we're get, we're giving them a, another chance, another way to get around this. Do you hear that? Prolonging, well, because one of, I believe that if they, uh, answered now, they would have to reject the application. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. And then okay. so, a lot of things come into play then. We have to wait a year for another submission and so forth. So we don't want to do that to this homeowner. Yeah. Okay, can you hear what he says? I don't, I know, I can't hear anything. Rosemary, is he watching the meeting? There's a little, if you're watching on Facebook, there's a little delay if he's watching the meeting. A lot. Oh. Okay. 
they're going to have a joint meeting with the uh, village board to see what they say about this interpretation. Okay? You're welcome. Bye -bye. Mr. Gomes said thank you very much. Okay. Anybody else? Somebody's wounded. Mr. Mr. Garcia, if that's a baby crying, can you just mute until we uh, it might be coming from you? Okay, yes. Thank you. Go ahead, right. Chairman. Okay, um, if there's no other questions this, this time, I would entertain a motion to hold it over till a September meeting, which no, which October. would be, I mean, October, October meeting, sorry, which would be, October. what is it? October 14th, it looks like to me. Yep, yep, October 14th. Okay. And, and, motion. Uh, Somebody give me a motion, please. I'll so move to uh, keep the public me uh, public meeting open uh, for another month to October the 14th, 2020. Okay, second, please. I'll second that. Okay. Mark Who is that? Mar Marco. Marco. Marco seconded. Okay, good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, before we leave this totally, uh, Marcus, can you see if the village board with Stephanie could either do a Zoom with me so we could have a meeting about this? I know we probably can't do it all together because you're going to have to make it a public meeting with, with everybody involved. Sure, let me, uh, sure uh, Chairman, let me talk to Stephanie. The next village, uh, the next meeting is a workshop meeting, which is March, which uh, I mean September 22nd which is the regular meeting at the village board. So that's already been noticed. So I can ask, ask and ask the board if they, they wanted to have a joint meeting to have this discussion at that meeting or they want to have a separate meeting. I'll get back to you and they can get back to the rest of your board. Okay, thank you, sir. Of course. Okay. Uh, this that's is it. Rosemary. The, yes. uh, the green cards that you, that, you have. I told you, Rosemary, I have all the stuff. Okay. I'll give it to you tomorrow, hon. Well, you don't have to. You can bring it to the uh, village hall. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, right. uh, Mr. Garcia, uh, any other statements before they go to the next item? Nothing further. Thank the board for its consideration. Thank you for being patient with it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the uh, catalog number 2-20BZ, it's an application for a variance from the requirement of section 21119-1A and 21121-C, as well as an accessory structure and fence for property lo located at 215 Catherine Street. Mr. Excuse Chairman, me, excuse me if I pronounce your name wrong. Kevin Arsman? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I don't think they uh, I emailed them. I never got a response. So I was hoping they would join the meeting. I have not seen them. They have not contacted me. Rosemary, have they contacted you in any way? No. No, not at all. Okay. I guess we'll leave it carried over till the next meeting. Perfect. So we're going to shoot to Before, the last one. Sorry. No, I just wanted to make mention, uh, uh, Marcus, uh, you know, this second month they didn't come. Uh, are they going to abandon this or what? I mean, we I don't think we should keep carrying things over. If they don't want to come, then they don't want to come. Let them, you know, do what they feel they need to do. But we're not going to hear them. I mean, that's uh, I, just my opinion. I'm sorry, but that's my opinion. Yep, I agree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send them an email and then follow with a phone call. And before the next meeting, I get, and I'll get the board a response and see what they tell me. Okay. Fair Thank enough. Thank you. Okay. And the other thing on the agenda is a variance 
from the, I'm sorry, catalog number 3-20-BZ. It's a variance from the requirement of section 211.17, side yard variance, two feet for property located at 208 Tate Avenue. Uh, Michael Scalante. Yes. Okay. Everybody, okay. Re everybody received a copy of the um, some architectural drawings and uh, of the staircase and the small deck they want to build. So, uh, Michael, if you don't mind calling you, Michael, yeah, if, that's you, fine. if you don't explain, if you don't mind explaining to the board what you're trying to accomplish, so that way they can, um, you know, ask you any questions from your presentation. Um, basically, we're just trying to create an access from our kitchen to our backyard. Um, probably in January, our old neighbor had passed away, which we used to use their steps in between the houses to get into the backyard with our dogs and such. Um, but being that they sold the house and there's new neighbors there, we now have a fence in between and we're really just trying to make the backyard accessible from the first floor of the house as there's no other way to get back there other than a basement exit. Okay. Well, last month I uh, went to Village Hall and I met with Anthony outside to look at a proposed plan for stairs. You recall that, Anthony? Anthony, we can't hear you, Anthony. All right. Well, let me. Uh, let me just say that he came outside and we reviewed a plan uh, on the hood of one of the police cars. And I was told I was going to get it in my box, but I never saw the actual plan after that. Does everybody have a copy of that besides me? I, do. I have a, a copy that was uh, sent to us via email. I, have I do have email. a copy. I got it. I got it from the uh, from from the office today. I, yes. I, I can share if you like I can share my screen and put it up on the screen if you want chairman absolutely be great all right just give me one minute how the heck did I not get that you didn't you could have my copy <laughs> Anthony, you remember when you uh, showed me the copy out in the parking lot? Guess not. I don't think Anthony's on. I don't okay. Think no, Anthony's on. on. Anthony's on, but he, uh, the problem is he, we can't hear him, so I don't know what's going on there. But he's tr he's trying to do something. I gotta see him. I'm gonna share my screen now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, Michael, if you want to, I can, uh, this is, you might, I want to want to explain maybe what, what I'm showing to the, to the board. So in case there's any questions, I'll go yeah. from page to page. Basically that's pretty much the only spot we can cut a door in to, I guess if you're looking at that to the left of that is our kitchen. And then after that is the mud room, which has our laundry in it. Um, so we're kind of limited to that one section to be able to cut any um door in to get an exit out to the is backyard that, is the dotted lines where you want to cut the door in mike yes okay all right so can you go this is marco speaking can you go down to the next uh just keep going a little bit more please okay so so he's so so you're coming off the back here. Correct. So it's just it's just a little platform in the staircase, Michael. Yeah, it's uh, I believe a five by three or five five feet wide by four feet out exit with a sliding door. So the door will slide to the left. So you go out onto the platform, and then make a left, and then go down the stairs to the backyard. Okay, so that's kind of where my question comes. I see that L shape right there in the uh, in the diagram. Yes. And the stairs are, are to the left of the L. Correct. If the stairs were to the right of the L, you know, the L was pointing to the left. Would that give you the, would that work for you right there? Um, it could be built like that, but what I'm trying to do is not lose 
my patio. Um, you know, we have a patio table and stuff out there. So if we go the other way, that's going to end up right dead smack in the middle of my patio, which is really cutting down our, our patio room. And Michael, um, what's on this section of the house over here? That's a step down. I have a um, in the house. That's my laundry room. And then outside, that's a, a step down to another little slab where we have access to a storage room underneath the laundry room, which is only accessible from outside. Okay. How much of a variance are you looking for? Looks to me like like you know two feet or yeah. something three feet right yeah at the bottom of the step from the property line it'll be two feet off the property line to that last step at the bottom there right around right here right yes yeah. two feet at the top i believe it's five feet where the platform is to the property line okay I think that's on the top i, I, section I don't really i don't really know if there's anything in the code uh about about this other than side yards usually if if it was a house it had to be 10 feet but it's not a house it's just a stairwell so i don't know if that meets that requirement but i mean I, it looks like a good plan to me but i'm not uh well, we could, well, Chairman, what we could do, if this is something that the board would like to entertain, um, you could call for the public hearing the next, at the next meeting. Uh, Stephanie will be back, uh, and then we can have a discussion legally, and also we have access. Hopefully, we'll have um, Anthony back, and then we can hold a public hearing, and, then, and the neighbors can also you know, raise any comments they would like to raise as well. Yeah, I know Anthony came out one day, and he surveyed the property, just kind of see like the layout and everything. Um, but other than that, that's, that's pretty much where we're at. And, and then chairman also gives you opportunity to do another site visit before the public hearing too, and everybody can take a look yeah. at the property. Yeah. I have no problem with that. Is, uh, the board members. I don't have a, this is Marco Finkway. I don't have a problem with that. I'd like to go out and take a look at this. Okay. Ed. Yes. I feel the same way. Hey, Gary, I think I'd just like to go out and eyeball it, see where we're at with it. Perhaps, you, you, in fact, uh, uh, the question you did raise, good question. Maybe uh, Stephanie could take a look at it and uh, maybe respond to it to the board before the next meeting. I don't know if she will be able to, but it's uh, something to, I guess, think about. Yeah. Mary? Um, I, I'd like to see it. Um, I, don't, I was under the impression that it was a minimum of three feet on, on a, a property, on a side lot on the, on the property line. So I'd like to see exactly what it looks like. I think it, it is three foot on an auxiliary structure. Yeah. But this isn't really auxiliary structure. That's like a shed or something, you know? Okay. Um, okay. Well, if, if, if everybody's in agreement with that, we could set up a, uh, a look at it uh, for next month, at, like we did today, 615. Yes. That's the, the 14th? Yes. Somebody make a motion for that? I'll make a motion to uh, have the site visit at 615. And, uh, I'll and second it. Okay. And we're going to add and open the public hearing. My uh, bad. No, no, no. This is not a public hearing. Yeah. No, you go, you're going to call for the public hearing at the next meeting yes. if you wish. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, wait, I'm wait. in favor of doing that too. Wait a second. Are you going to set a public hearing tonight? Yes. Uh, it's, up, it's up to you guys. I mean, I don't know. You guys want you want to set up or you want to get a look first and then set the public hearing. You can always adjourn and continue. Yeah. Uh, 
I would suggest going uh, with the public hearing and as indicated like we're doing with the first one man we can always uh, put it over for another month if we think it's necessary everybody good with that I agree uh, yes I agree. yes uh, all right so Ed's making the motion for the public hearing I will 615 yes and Mary's gonna second it right? no that's the site visit is 615 site visit thanks <laughs> you don't need a motion for the site visit no okay but we I, i'll make the motion for the public hearing okay. on uh 10 on 10 14 I, I, 10 14. yes 20. sir and i'll second it mary okay mary thank you yep. uh all in favor aye, aye. Okay, we got that set. Mike, we got that set, so we're going to be at your house the 14th and take a look at it, okay? Okay, is that the, so I guess my question is, what's the the site visit, and then after that, what's the next step? Is that after the next meeting, or is that the day of the next meeting? No, then we have to open a public hearing, and you have to send out the cards like Mr. Calibro did. And so you're all your neighbors know that are within 250 feet. So, so I'm looking at them. what another two months before I can actually move forward with it. I'm I'm probably going to, have to say yes to that. Okay. I wish I could tell you something different, but uh, I'm just asking because I mean Anthony, not to throw him under the bus. I'm not doing that. But he said that this wouldn't be really a big deal and. But we got to do what we got to do, so it's 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 where we're at. Okay, thank you for being understanding. So, Mike, just to make sure you understand the process, uh, you contact Village Hall tomorrow um, to get um, a list of addresses within 200 feet to notify everybody for the public hearing, and then also from the building department, you got a sign. You got to get a sign to put in front of your property to notify the public that there'll be a meeting at your house at 6:15. Right. And it's, it's open to the public as well. All your neighbors can come over uh, and just see what's going on. Okay. All right. So your whole village hall tomorrow, Anthony tomorrow, and they'll go through the process for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Also, um, Stephanie will prepare the legal notice and email it yes. to Michael. Yes. That, and that's what you send to your neighbors. Okay. Anybody else have anything else? Bless you. Bless you. Thank Bless you. you. Excuse me. Do you have your mask on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to speak for myself here before we close the meeting. I really hope that these uh, Zoom meetings come to an end. Because to me, it's just a lot nicer when we can look at everything and talk about it when we're, you know, when we're at Village Hall, but I get it. I get it, the process, and you know, we'll have to deal with it as can we. We did a little better this time than last month, I think. You know, progress. <laughs> it's a, the more practice, the better. Just to make sure everybody understands, until the governor's order is uh, expired, even after that, if we do want to meet at Village Hall, we have to take everybody's temperature, not only the board, but anybody else that comes in. We have to, I have to sterilize all the bathrooms before, and also we got the tra uh, contact tracing notifications. So everybody has to give me their email addresses, address, phone number, and all that stuff too. So there are steps if we do want to open up for the next meeting, if the governor's office has not been released, but there are steps we have to follow. So to make sure that you and the public know that as well. Yeah. Okay. okay. Looking for a motion to adjourn. What is this for the... Yeah. Oh, I'm. I. I don't know if I got frozen out or whatever. I just came back again. I'm sorry. Did I miss something? I apologize. Yeah, we all got a raise. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm part of it. You know, yeah. I'm part of it. Yeah. They want to do that. That's that's great. <laughs> now, the only did, thing did, I want to bring up. <laughs> the only thing I. Oh, is this for meeting or for the meeting? Or just the meeting. I, I just wanted to bring up. I know we didn't go live, not for nothing. This technology, it's good, as I always like to say, it's good until it's not. <laughs> um, 
I'd rather go in live, and I, you know, I guess we have to see next month, Marcus. Yeah. That's what you missed. He was explaining yeah, that. To that's us. a part. Yeah, that's a part. The uh, governor's order um, goes to October, uh, beginning of October next month. But again, this is an option. So if the board does want to meet live, um, what we're going to do is ask them to make sure I got to have somebody to take everybody's temperature. Uh, right. We also have to get everybody's right. contact information for contract tracing. And I got to make sure all the doors and the, and the place is sterilized or, you know, mm -hmm. disinfected. So if the board does want to do that next month, even with the governor's order, we can we can meet. I think we lo I thought uh, it looks like Ed's froze again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your heat bill over there, Ed. Uh, so it, the, 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 something going on with his internet access. So definitely, uh, Gary, if you do want to meet next month live with the governor's order or not, just let me know and we can ha make everything set up. Okay. Well, I'll do. Well, I'm going to talk to the mayor because she'd like me to pull the board. We'll do it again. You pull know, the board I, I now. Pull the board now, so you have everybody here. No? I mean, uh, I mean, I guess we could do that. Do you have any problem with meeting live next month, as long as he can? No, I no, I don't. As again, I wound up getting frozen out. Yes. Still, Zoom wants is more concerned whether or not I'm a robot. <laughs> And uh, I, you know, I just, I would prefer to meet live if we really can. Um, I know we've done it a couple months, but there's, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, this is Marco. I'm flexible either way. I can meet live or we can do it via Zoom. I'll, I'll go along with the majority on this one. And I'm okay with either. Yeah. I'm, Whatever. If, I'm, if, more, I'm more pro. I'd like to meet. Okay, that's okay. fine. That's just my vote, though. I'm only one of four here, so. Right. So, so it looks like everyone wants to do that. That's fine. I'll make sure we talk to the custodian of the building, get everything everything cleaned up, disinfected, make sure we, we got the thermometer. Well I'll, well, I'll do what I have to get done to make it, make it easy for you guys to, to okay. meet. So we can actually meet uh, at Village Hall next month. That's not a problem. And Rosemary, just make that notification for the next agenda, okay? That so we'll be meeting in Village Hall. Okay. Uh what about the applicants? Yeah, if you don't mind notify, notifying them as well. Email them, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, so what's up for next month at Village Hall? Okay, great. Okie dokie. Uh, did a motion, I don't have a motion to close the, the uh, meeting. We're okay, getting there. Go ahead. I'll make that motion to close the public hearing or close the meeting. Second. Second. All in favor? Second. Aye. 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 Seconded. All right. Good night, everybody. Aye, good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Marcus. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Thanks, Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye.